In what hearts can we inspire hope so that our next heart is unburdened? In what company must our suffering compare without masks disguising our pain? In what life is mine worth anything less than yours? For its power is unbounded, even in mortal hands. Melesna, an oracle of sorts or something. Disassembly by Feral Cat. Chapter 1.0, Prologue, A Cyborg Angel. The city of Cosmopolitan is under attack. Fires spread from rooftop to rooftop. Bright neon signs flicker and fall from their heavens to the ground, where the streets are chaos. Phaser fire whizzes in the air as storefronts collapse to the fires. Human residents run wild and afraid, while the cyborg militia destroys their once vibrant home. Two scared innocents run from the blasts. One falls to the phaser fire, while the other manages to jump headfirst into a mile-deep chasm. The situation seems perilous, doomed, one might say. In the distance, east of the city, a warehouse stands derelict and worse for wear. Its humble exterior hides many generations of secrets. Underneath even the secretest of secrets, Lab 6 conducts experiments some kilometers beneath the warehouse floor. A person lies unconscious in a bed in the lab. A scientist, presumably, paces back and forth. You are not unlike the others, yet you live. You survive. Perhaps now you can thrive, says the scientist mysteriously. Some time passes. The scientist takes a nap in the bed next to the mystery patient. The patient accidentally falls off the bed. They scream in pain. Some more time passes. The scientist, observing his sleeping patient, says, the entire human civilization is being exterminated, and like any good civilization in peril, it requires a single extraordinary man to save it. The patient slowly bats their eyes open and speaks. I'm not a man, but big if true, am I even human? No, your time on Earth has been extended with integrated technology by the high world, says the scientist, matter of fact like. The high world? asks the patient. The scientist explains. You are chosen. That's always how these things go. Stories haven't changed. You must defeat the baddies. Thoughts spin wild in the patient's head as they try to make sense of the scientist's words. All I remember is destruction. The, the pain. It seemed to me never ending. A human bloodbath. I don't know where I am. Or what I am. I, I don't understand what I am. And to be chosen. The patient wakes up abruptly. Can I go now? You have state-of-the-art synthetic parts by the grace of the high world and their perfect engineering, but you are not yet linked to the high world's network, answers the scientist wryly. A virgin to the network, you are the anomaly. You are the chosen because you are an artifice with free will. Could you not do this to me? Screams the patient in defiance. The scientist continues, unfazed. Find a way into the network. The retribution you seek is impossible elsewhere. But beware your purpose, forgo your hatred, and learn inner peace. 
Push away the android thoughts. An android hive mind is a powerful beast of control, but your empathy and compassion are stronger still. Stay human, and of course, defeat the baddies. The patient, confused, asks, you keep saying baddies. The scientist cuts them off. I said defeat the baddies. I give you strength, so now save humankind. It's how it goes. It's how it works. It's fate. It's legend. It's lore. You are chosen. End of prologue.